everyone. We are going to read Positive Ninja. So the title here is what? Yes, Positive Ninja. And hmm, I see a person's name who writes the words inside the book. Do you know what job that is? Yes, this is the author, Mary Nin. Hmm. And down here, I see pictures by Jelena Stuper. Hmm, pictures by. So that's the person who draws the pictures in the book. That's called the what? Yes, the illustrator. Good job. And this part of the book, this is called the front cover. And bring it around here. And what? That's the back cover. Very good. And what's this? You know what? It has the same word for all these bones in the middle of our back. That's called the what? The spine. Good job. So this is Positive Ninja. Let's see what this story is about. Positive Ninja. Do you think this glass is half full or half empty? Positive Ninja radiated positivity, so much so that it amazed her friends. Doesn't Positive Ninja look so happy? She's saying, yay! When Positive Ninja accidentally stepped in rain puddles, she would simply say, I'm so grateful we got rain to water my backyard plants. The day she fell down the stairs, she remarked, well, that's one day way to go down fast. If her pencil broke while she was drawing, she would exclaim, guess that pencil needed a break. Time for a new one. Do you think you'd be that happy if your pencil broke? She's just positive, right? Yes. Positive Ninja was absolutely positive and happy, but that was not always the case for Positive Ninja. Uh-oh, let's see what happened. No, once upon a time, she really could be quite negative. Uh-oh, does Positive Ninja look happy anymore? No, let's see. At a soccer game, she would scream, this is impossible. During piano practice, she would shout, I'm no good at this. While doing homework, she would say, I can't do this. Do you think we should say, I can't? No, I want you guys to say, I can. <gasps> yes, say, I can. Let's see. Let's see what happens to Positive Ninja. Until one day, her friend, Kind Ninja, suggested that she try a fun way to change her thinking. Do you want me to show you? What you do is catch your negative thought. Next, blow it into a balloon. Then pretend to let the balloon go. Whoa. Now you have room for positive thoughts like... I can be good at this as long as I keep trying. I don't know if I can do this. So Positive Ninja tried it. She caught her negative thoughts and blew them into a balloon. Then she let the balloon go. And do you know what happened next? What do you think happened next? Let's see. It worked! From that day on, she felt a lot less negative and a whole lot happier. I can do anything. Using this balloon strategy could be your secret weapon against negative thoughts. All right, everyone, I want you to try it with me. So I want you to quick catch that negative thought and put it in your hands right here. Now we're gonna crumple it up, crumple it up with me. All right, now we're gonna take that negative thought and we're gonna put it inside a balloon, help me. Good job. Now take that balloon, put it up against your lips, take it a nice deep breath, breathe in, 
and let it out. <sighs> Whoa, that negative thought is inside this balloon. Let's make it a little bigger. Breathe in and out. <sighs> All right, let's let the balloon go. All right, good job, everyone. Excellent work. Give yourselves a pat on the back. Say good job. Good job. And your homework today is to let go of all of those negative thoughts and bring in positive ones. Have a great day. Bye-bye.